What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. And today we're talking about what I think is one of the most valuable accessories that you can get for pretty much any camera that you're gonna shoot videos for. But today specifically, we're talking about the DJI Action 2 and an accessory that I've got hold of in just the last couple of days that is gonna improve my ability to shoot videos, especially outside during the day, especially vlogs, gonna really help me out loads and loads and gonna talk all about that in just one second. Before we get into the content of the video, I'm going to ask you guys to do all the usual stuff for me. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Loads of other videos to come on the channel that I think you might enjoy. So what is the accessory that I'm talking about? Well, it is ND filters. Now I've had my Action 2 for a couple of months now actually, and I've been using it on and off for various different things. But up until yesterday, in fact, I had not managed to get hold of any ND filters. A company called Freewell uh, messaged me and said, hey look, would you like to try out our filters and actually I was really pleased about that because before they'd ever made contact with me um, I had already been using Freewell filters uh, on my Osmo Action 1. I used the ND filters on the Action 1 to shoot loads of my outdoor videos, found them really really good. But Freewell got in contact, they said can we send you some filters for the Action 2 that you can test out and I thought absolutely you can because I probably was going to buy them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I should say this video is not sponsored in any way by Freewell, but I should say they did send me the filters for free so I could try them out. So full transparency for you guys. Not sponsored, but they did send them to me for free. Okay, so first of all, let's just quickly touch on what are ND filters. You guys who are not familiar with ND filters, in very simple terms, and every YouTube video you watch about them will use this example, but they are like sunglasses for your lens. Why would you want sunglasses for your lens? Why would you not just change your exposure to make your image darker? Well, the answer to that question is because specifically for video, you want to try and follow something called the 180 shutter rule. And that basically means whatever you have your your frame rate set at for your video, you want your shutter speed ideally to be double that amount. So for example, with the Action 2, I've been shooting most of my videos in 30 frames per second. That means ideally I want to set my shutter speed to 1 60th of a second. 30 frames per second, double it, 1 60th of a second. Why do we want to do that? Well, the reason is because that shutter speed gives you a more kind of normal looking movement in your videos. You can see what I mean on this video right here. So I'm shooting this video in 24 frames per second. So I've set my shutter speed to 1 50th of a second. I have to do 1 50th in theory, it should be 1 48th, but I don't have that in my camera, so I've set it to 1 50th. And what that does is it gives me natural movement. If you look at my hand in the video and I move it, you can see it's kind of got like a natural blur. The same kind of blur that you would see if you look at your own hand and move it, you can see it kind of blurs in front of your own eyes. And that's the idea of what we're doing on the video. By comparison, if we quickly cut to this clip now where I've changed my settings and my shutter speed is now 1 640th of a second. All kinds of weird things have started happening. You can see my lights like strobing in the background. If you look at my hand now, it looks different. It's not blurred. It's all kind of juttery and does not look natural. But if we change the settings back again, you can see that suddenly the movement looks a lot more natural. So that's why we want to try and follow the 180 shutter rule. So why do ND filters make any difference? Well, when you're using a camera, especially a camera like the Action 2, we decide, right, I want to shoot in 30 frames per second. Okay, great, so I can set my shutter speed to 1 60th of a second. Now, the problem we have is the aperture of the Action 2 is set. It's set at f2.8. So if we go outside in the middle of the day, f2.8, 1 60th of a second, even if we set our ISO level right down as low as it goes at like 100, your image is still going to be overexposed. And in that situation, the only thing you could do is increase your shutter speed or, or cranking the shutter, some people would call that. But then as we know from the example just now, that gives us unnatural movement. So what do we want to do instead? We want to find another way of darkening the image. And that's where something like an ND filter comes in. I've got one here in my hand. I'm going to show you a bit closer in one second, but just an example you can see if I move this in front of the camera it literally is like a sunglass for the lens you can see it makes the image much darker and of course in this scenario is then underexposed the image 
but you can see the effect that it has and that is how an ND filter works. So let's check out these filters specifically from Freewell. So they sent me uh, three different packs. They sent me one pack uh, which was a four pack of polarizing filters. We'll have a look at those in just a second. They sent me another pack which is a four pack of the ND filters, the ones that I'm mostly interested in in all honesty. Uh, there's an ND8, ND16, ND32 in there. Um, the, the numbers mean the darker they get so they they darken uh, more as the number gets bigger and they also sent me an ND1000 this is your really dark one this is the type of filter that you would use if you wanted to do like a really long exposure with a photo and you use this to really darken down the image so you get the long exposure and the movement in your photo let's say without it overexposing your image if we look at the little filters inside they come in a nice little case like this you get four filters in the case uh, in here for example we've got three of the ND filters and also the polarizer. This video is more so about the ND filters but I will show you the polarizing ones as well. The actual filter themselves, if we just take one out, it's a really nice little clean kind of square filter. It's got quite a cool like red sort of tinge to it which I quite like and the thing I really like about these is they are magnetic. They literally fit onto the front of the Action 2. Now my initial concern straight away with this was, whoa, well, like how well are they going to hold on there? And actually I've got to say, really, really strong I mean if we put that one on there for example and I move it and like really move it that that is not coming off there so that is really really solid and I really like the way that fits on so easy to do that drive out like unscrewing it or anything like that the other thing I also quite like about that is it gives us a little bit of protection on the lens and something which is a problem with the action too is it doesn't have any kind of lens cover other than the actual built-in lens on the camera so with that on there it does give us a little bit of extra protection just thought I'd show you guys the uh, polarizing filters as well they go on exactly the same um, but these ones move so they have the circular polarizer so you can change the effect or the impact that the polarizer has on the little dial on the side or maybe do a whole separate video about polarizing filters right now not going to talk too much about those so why do I think these are such a valuable accessory? Well, quite simply because they can improve the quality of your videos. They can make the video look more professional by giving you that natural movement and enabling you to do that while still shooting at f2.8 as per the fixed aperture of this lens. But even if you're using a regular DSLR camera, still gives you the ability to do that with the nice crushed background, shallow depth of field, and the ND filters are so, so useful during the day. Now, the Freewell filters are fairly affordable. I've used other cheaper filters before and I found that some of them had like quite a cloudy effect and almost added like a, a kind of cloudy shady effect over my image. I've been testing these outside yesterday and as you can see from the footage I'm putting into the video right here, nice and clear image, really really good, really pleased with it. I like the quality of the image I'm getting whilst using the ND filters. So overall I've got to say I'm really impressed with these ones. Now you guys don't have to buy Freewell filters. As I said this isn't a sponsored video there's plenty of other brands out there that you can look at I just wanted to share with you more so the importance and I think the value of using ND filters but if you do want to check out the free world ones I will put the links in the description um, so you can go look specifically I'll link these three different box sets here that I've got I've been using them I do rate them I will continue to use these ones with my action too so if you do want to check them out go follow the links in the description but whether you like the Freewell ones or you choose to go for something different I really do recommend ND filters I think they will improve your video make them look more professional give you that nice natural movement in the video which I'm always after hope you guys found this useful if you did don't forget to hit that like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't already got another couple of action 2 videos coming for you guys real soon over the course of the next couple of weeks guys thank you very much for watching. I will see you on the next video.